What's up everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, King Kunta, back at you again with another gold farming video. Now today, we're going to teach you how to make upwards of 500,000 gold off of one farm alone. Now this farm has been known uh, throughout the community for a while now, it's actually pretty common, but uh, we're not going to get stuck on that. What we're going to talk about is how you can farm it, how much gold you're going to get, get, what items you're going to get, and honestly, it... <laughs> this farm beats out like most other ones uh, that I posted so if you're gonna do any of the farms on this channel I highly recommend you at least do this one because this farm is the one that is going to make you thousands upon thousands upon thousands of gold also I have a macro for you guys that I will copy and paste in the description below so you guys can go ahead and kill uh, with ease basically and also just speed this farm up a little bit and uh yeah now there are a lot a lot of people that like to farm this so i just uh keep that open right now there are you might have a little bit of competition but it's for something amazing so first things first we're gonna look up just a few of the items that you could get from uh, the farm so i'm gonna search now these are the glorious leg plates so you actually have a decent chance of getting off this farm these are what they're going for on my server and like trust me these are the prices across all servers you will get a ton of money from uh, these items right here basically if you, none of you guys know what the glorious set is the glorious set is a set a transmog set in world of warcraft basically and uh, a ton of people want this set basically because of the way it looks it looks beautiful so we're gonna look it up and I'll see if I can find uh, Alright, leg plates. I kind of want to show you guys uh, just what some of the items look like, if I can find any of them. There we go. The leg plates are definitely one of the um, bigger ones. These are the boots right here, and as you can see, you can't really see my character, but they're basically bright gold, and that's why people want them. Uh, if you, You've probably actually seen people with the sets already. But yeah, so we're going to be farming those, and uh, you actually have a decent chance of getting them, and also there's a pet, the Azure Whelpling, which actually has a chance of dropping as well, but uh, the price on that is a bit different server to server, so uh, it's kind of dependent on your server. Alright, so enough talking. Also, I forgot to mention, I, have a f I had a few questions on a couple of videos ago, people wondering what uh, I use to create my videos. Um, like my computer, my setup, all that stuff. I decided to put all that stuff in the link in the description below if you guys want to go check out my setup and maybe make your own or something from that. You can just click out the link in the description it'll take you to all that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and cut the video now. And next thing you see, I'm going to be at the farm using a macro, getting tons of gold. Alright, see you there. Welcome back everybody, it's King Kunta. And after that cut, we're now at the farming location. So to some of you, this may look very familiar. To others, if you're not a very big gold farmer, maybe not. But we are located in Frost Whisper, uh, Frost Whisper Gorge in Winter Spring. And I'm going to show you where that's at right now. So as you can see right here, Frost Whisper Gorge in Winter Spring from Calamundor. Yeah, I added too many letters. Make fun of me in the comments. They always do. So today, we're going to be farming these guys right here, Ice Avatars. Now, I have a little macro right here that basically just targets the... Um, the ice avatar and cast uh, just a spell that can one tap it out of there real quick so these mobs drop the items that I showed you in the video along with some other items that are very high ticket such as like the dra the jada uh, breastplate and stuff like that and uh, if you don't know what that item is uh, it's basically it's a transmog item and it's actually worth around 350,000 right now on my server and it's going for around that on other servers as well now, along with, also, this is a questing area, so I kind of like stay clear of people that are trying to quest their way up. But you basically only want to kill the ice avatars. Now, the spawn rate is a little um, dwindling, if I might add, but this this farm is well worth it because if you actually are able to get one of these drops, you are going to be insta rich. And yes, that is a new word I've invented, but it will actually happen in World of Warcraft if you can get one of these to drop. Now, the drop chances on these. Not super great. Um, they're not super high, but the chance, like if you actually get one of these, you're basically set. Um, I've seen people go a couple hours because this farm is such RNG based, and they just they got nothing. Um, 
And then I've also seen people that only farm it for an hour and will get, you know, three gor glorious leg, pay leg place drops and two uh, jade breastplates and stuff like that. So uh, just just be aware, this is a farm that basically you have to free up a whole schedule to use this farm. But once you're able to actually farm it uh, correctly, uh, you're going to be very well off, um, especially if you have a group. Now, since this farm is so well known, there's normally a lot of groups looking to farm uh, this as well. So what you can do is you can go into looking for group. If you don't know how to do that, it's basically uh, the Dungeon Raid Fighter, pre-made groups, uh, custom, and then you can find a group or start a group, and uh, you can just set it towards near you, and most people know what it is. If you are a uh, droid, 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 I don't know how they say it. Anyways, if you are a droid, droid, whatever, you are actually going to be make uh, better use out of this farm in the long run because it is just going to be easier for you to uh, fly around here and basically kill every one of these you see. And also you can loot them in flight form, which is another uh, big advantage. And as you can see, they cluster in different areas. And uh, we're lucky right now we actually don't have anyone else farming it. But uh, yeah, and obviously you can see from the video what the respawn rate is. It's not amazing, but it's also not nothing uh, as well. And I'm kind of snagging these from this poor guy. But uh, yeah, you only want to kill the ice avatars. Don't worry about anything else other than that. Um, only ice avatars are now. I'm going to put the macro in the link in the description below. And uh, just a little bit of, uh, ah, sorry, of advice for the macro. When you... Uh, work with this macro. I'm gonna actually I'm just gonna teach you just full way. Okay, so I have target slash target ice avatar. You can even do this uh in video and basically what you wanna do is basically just copy what I have in the link in the description and change whatever your cast is to your main uh AoE ability basically. So you can just try to knock down as many of these as possible. So uh obviously if you're a droid uh you can just keep it how it is basically just copy and paste it straight in from the video right now and uh, you should be well off and that that shouldn't be a problem and uh, yeah as you can see there's actually not a lot of people farming here which actually kind of shocked me after uh, how much this farm has made people in uh, some aspects but yep basically just join flight form fly around and uh, use the macro I gave you guys in the description below and just run around and kill ice avatars you are gonna get random things uh, you get some essence of water, which you can sell in the auction house. Um, I mean, that's up to you. Obviously, I would do it. I have been doing it. Yeah, sometimes it can get glitched in the mountain like this. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But, uh, yeah, see, nothing super special there. But, yeah, most people will group up for this. So, if you guys uh, have an option, go ahead and start a group and get four or five guys. And then uh, start a timer. Loot after that timer and you should be good. As long as you run back and forth here, you should be very well off in this farm and as you can see I didn't really get much there this can be tedious but it is well worth it if you have uh, just a day off just to do nothing basically and just worry about World of Warcraft uh, I recommend you farm this because you can definitely up your uh, gold making uh, through this farm and I've seen people build uh, basically fortunes on World of Warcraft through this farm alone uh, and uh, yeah a lot of people know about it and I believe that's about it, all I have for you guys, if, uh, while I'm not being too repetitive, actually. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this farm. Just run around, use the macro I gave you, and go ahead and kill these. And then put the stuff on the auction house, become rich. Very easy tips. You guys uh, should have a good time doing this. It's not very hard uh, at all, especially if you get on and there's not many people on. You should be alright. The farm shouldn't be too much of an issue for you. It's obviously easier with more people, but if you're a loner like me and you have no friends, you can just do it my way, and uh, you can actually get a chance at some very high ticket items, and uh, potentially be World of Warcraft rich. So that's going to be um, it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out in a whole lot. Um, every person that subscribes, I think of you as my family, basically, you, I mean, maybe not that close, but... We basically you help me. Uh, you give me the motivation to post videos uh, every day. It's not very easy, but with you guys behind me, it makes me feel like I am able to do this. And uh, yeah, also if you're curious about my setup, go ahead check the link in the description. Also the macros in the description. And other than that, I think that should be it for the video. 
And yeah, I'm gonna leave it with this and hopefully he's gonna drop a, a breastplate liking, please. And he didn't. But yeah, I also I recommend binding uh, the macro to a, a key on your keyboard so you can just run around spam and not click it like what I've been doing. And other than that, no more tips and you're good to go. And I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.